best in the world versus best in Japan. Let's run it. Yep, yep. And K Leo man on the Joker, and it looks like Zachary kind of opting for the Rob game one for a lot of these, uh, you know, top 16, top yep. 24 matches. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, the Rob has been brute. And I, I mean, at this point, you you gotta say Zachary is the best Rob, but yeah, yeah, he's yeah. not like a solo Rob. So. No, no. And I think that's like pretty impressive the fact that your pocket Rob could predominantly, or, or you know, be the best in the world. I think that's a lot right there to really, you know, take in. You know, I was really questioning this Rob pick at first, but now I'm trying to understand a couple of things. Yes, is this character very easy to come? with Arsene or without Arsene, absolutely. But there's going to be a couple instances, you know, where MK Leo might find himself in a position to get grabbed, you know, and what Rob can get off of grabs could be super detrimental to Joker. He could kill him very, very early. And I love Leo just using the top against Zachary. Arsene is out to play, but the oh! ledge trap. Wow. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, almost hit him with the sniper this time. Yes, there's no hitbox to not recover. We're going to hit him with the Robo Lear, a.k.a. the Blender, a.k.a. A, the spin to win. That's going to close out that first stock right here. Yeah, and that was such a big turnaround on Zachary's part because Zachary was losing that entire time. He hit him and he got Arsene, but he never let Arsene oh, back oh. on the stage. Oh, my goodness. Speaking of not being let back onto the stage, you know, it's, it's one thing to edge guard uh, Joker when he has Arsene. No hitbox on the recovery. As long as you time the property, you'll be okay. But the distance at that tether recovers, man, is pretty ridiculous. So if you are prime in position for Legend Stage to stick it to Joker like that, man, you are already a winner in my heart. But 38% right here, even stocks and oh my god Arsene is almost in town yeah here he is he's, I'm, he's, I'm here and he's on stage this time since he was at a lower percent not gonna send, get sent into that off stage situation that's the big deal and because a lot of people they'll put Joker in that situation they just let him get back on for free uh -huh. you have to make sure you push those juggle situations put those ledge trap situations when you got the Arsene off because every time you hit him that meter gets cranked down and look at that he's tacked on 60 percent but yes. not really enough for the KO at this point absolutely not but he does have great positioning right here and yes depending on who you ask you know ledge trapping might be a little bit better than edge guarding here, especially in this case. Obviously, Rob can go some pretty fast distance. He can go the distance like Hercules, but sadly, Jeez. no hitbox from that recovery at all. Yes, there's the tether up air. Yes, there it is. The wacky waving inflatable arm up here is going to close it out. And I, Zachary has the lead. Yeah, Rob is the uh, quote unquote zoner, by the way. He just down to him all the way across the stage with that ridiculously quick boxing option. Um, like I said, man, a lot of these zoners that are successful in Ultimate, they have to have that boxing option to back them up. And, well, fun fact, Rob's one of them. Rob is definitely one of them. Snake's another one as well with those super meaty, normal, safety set with Toast. Oh, oh, link. oh speaking of being Toast right here, that, to that stock is still right there for Zachary. Certainly Toast and to ourselves an even game right now. MK Leo looking to stop the bleeding and close the gap. This is what you do right here. You get Rob off of his feet or his wheels, whatever he uses. Right there, you really stick it to him. Great Arsene value coming out from uh, Leo. He was able to tack on 41 uh -oh. and get that second stock, but can he get off the ledge here? Yes, he does. Tacks on a little bit of damage on the way out. I mean, and another thing we have talked about is Joker did get... Oh, yes. Smith positioned himself like that. Now, that started because he wanted to go for the downward angle guns, but actually ended up on that top platform by yeah. the stage. Zachary yeah. took full advantage of that, as he should with that great young man reactionary time here in game number one. Yeah. Good stuff from Zachary, just closing that up. Uh, it's just hard. You With the up air, yeah. you have to really know and understand what side of the uh, up air you're on to get the correct react. Leo might have been able to do that. It's still kind of a stretch. But I mean, we didn't talk about the Joker nerfs. Joker did get slightly nerfed just a little in bit. this last patch. The down gun got a reduction in how big the hitbox are. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you lose Arsene just a little bit quicker. I don't think, I still think Joker's a top tier character. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, the, the, those nerfs are like more like love taps. But, you know, he's still. Slap uh, on the wrist. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I mean, but they, they do affect him. I mean, nerfs are nerfs at the end of the day. Nerfs are certainly nerfs, especially in a matchup like this. Now, Rob also on the heavier end of the things, too. So that's just going to take a little bit more than some of these low percent conversions here without Arson to really get the job done on Rob. I really like the idea of downward angle guns with or without Arson because, again, like I talked about before, no hitbox on recovery. That gets right up underneath Rob's skin if he had any. Okay, yes, these, there it is. And yes, yeah. uh, getting completely and just immediately back to Legend Stage, looking for that invincibility. Not even wanting to deal with the offstage pressure that MK Leo can bring to the table. And I love that Leo kind of going on top of the gyro and using the Rebels Guard just to build up that Arsene meter. Looks like Arsene is going to come out to play pretty soon here, just off of sheer time, unless get some kind of interaction. There he is. And again, I want to point out, Arsene got spawned in on stage. That, that is the worst. <laughs> Arsene's in town, but let's see how long he's going to stay here. Let's check the itinerary. There's the back here, getting the most 
Tired of this Arsene interaction. He's gonna use the laser to create just a little bit of space, but now he has to worry about the residual damage here. And this is where, you know, Rob, not just Zachary, you know, I don't want, I don't want to make it like it's just a Zachary problem. It's a Rob issue. You get high off of your feet right there, and your opponent, especially as quick as Joker, can really make your life hell. Yeah, we'll see. I, I, uh -oh. One of the things I want to see, too, is... Rob is that big frame character, uh -huh. uh, slower air dodge than most characters, because a lot of these big characters just have you know slower air dodge, so they're a lot easier to combo. I really want to see Leo abuse that, see some of these up air strings, drag downs, and really just start tacking on more than usual damage. That's right, you almost spoke into reality right there. He ended up getting the aerial into the upper, no drag down, of course, but gets the triple down into the pointer. He's just holding, he's just holding the C stick. He's just holding the C stick at this point. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye indeed right here. Zachary said, I am not going down unless I am swinging as well too, man. Great, great conversion right there off stage. Using the gyro gameplay into slowly but surely chilling way at this league. Is this control even plugged in? Yeah, look at that. Uh, Arsene might be coming out a little earlier than expected here. These combos coming out from Zachary using the quote unquote zoner character. I don't know, man. At this point, is Rob a combo character? He might be a combo so character right here. MK Lil looking like combo food just being taken from one of stage to another. Off this feet. There's the laser. Okay, there's a jar looking for the trap to down tilt. Oh, he said, sir. Hold this counter. You're doing too much. You're pressing too many buttons up close. I got it. I got a counter at this point. Ooh, yes. And that is just one conversion. Yeah, and that's just so unfortunate to do it, man. When you're fighting a character like Joker, you know, you, like you do all like you do these crazy combos on Joker, blah blah blah. And then out of nowhere he just like one hit into up smashes you, and then that's it, dude. Yeah, not only do you get all the flashy, you know, big combos in the early part, like, oh, 0 to 50 or whatnot, but you, your confirms are also going to be lasting a lot longer on these bigger characters. So it's like, oh, maybe I have a 20% or 10% bigger window to get the fair one up smash, right? Oh, so uh, Leo definitely abusing that. And look at this, so much extra damage already tacked up on this last stock, the tech chase, but this time, Leo ready for it. That's right. That's just one time, two mini right there. And Leo looking to escape out of harm's way. 133% right here. Arson is almost here. You're mine. Happy Valentine's Day. And then here comes the downward angle guns. He doesn't quite get anything off of it. That laser is charged up. And that was actually a really smart option right there for Mikaela. Looks like he was trying to hold down special to eat it. Might have let go a little bit too early. Yes. Okay, I might have been right. I like that coming out from Leo. Just going for the wow. throw. That should be it. The pile driver coming out from Rob. The up throw is a kill throw. You also can do some down throw shenanigans, but the up throw is just a straight up kill throw. So really good stuff coming out from Zachary. Just going to go ahead and do that. This is also a combo throw. Oh, my goodness. Yes, very reliable, especially on the stage with platforms, so you can get the job done just a little bit earlier. That case right there is able to make magic happen uh -oh. on the main part of the stage. Yes, here is the up smash. Don't even think about touching me anywhere up closer. I got this up smash in my pocket. He's ready to do damage. Look at cool, Joker. Looking Bro, extremely cool. They're playing so fast. It's, it's absolutely crazy how fast Zachary's playing. It, it almost feels like he's playing a rush down Rob, which is absolutely insane. Usually you see Rob played in a very different manner. Very, yes, yes, yes. We're used different. We're used to, yes, <laughs> yeah, in a yeah, different, different manner. manner. Different yes. manner. Uh, but Zachary is literally just fighting with this character. Like, he'll throw out the top and set it up. Sure. But for the most part, he just wants to get up in your face, throw out the down tilts, throw out the fares, really get all this momentum going. And then once he gets a hit, he's doing all the crazy tech that you do. Uh -huh. You uh, throw out the top, you you know Z-drop it, and you can also grab it with an air. So you can be holding the top, and usually you can't do an aerial with it. But if you jump up in the air, Z-drop an item, and then do your aerial, yep, yep. you do your aerial and then re-catch the item. And we see Zachary kind of abusing this tech so he can get all these nair chains. Yeah, no, I was actually really, I was, I was in question, you know, when I see the interactions on stage because it's how ham he was going. But that's because Rob, look, he has the ability to box and bang up close and personal with Joker. But one thing I really have grown to love here with Zachary is, at least in this Joker matchup, why he's being piloted by MK11, is the offstage pressure. I love the fact that he does not care which part of the recovery he has, whether it's Tether, where it's Ar whether it's Arsene. Zachary is going to get out there and try to make it happen for himself. Goodness gracious, we might even get the opportunity to see him go off stage because the center stage in the platform seems to belong to Zachary here in this case. Oh yeah, right now, and now Arsene uh -oh. is out. Very even-ish game, but ah, you gotta survive the first Arsene. It always comes down to that, right? Mm -hmm. Bang, bang with the guns, trying to get him down. And I mean, it's hard to avoid guns on this stage because of the wall. You, you Sometimes you can kind of go under the lip of the stage. Well, there's just the wall here at Gallows. That's right, he can just downward handle those things with some relative ease here. Arsene's still here for a little while longer. Uh-oh. Okay, he's having to trap into the corner. Yes, the item gameplay like we talked about before. That time, not really looking to put on percent, just looking for all coverage. We'll got an arm. Wait, don't even think about tethering back to this ledge. It belongs to me, good sir. 
he even used the cross up up air to get back on the stage. Zachary is so creative with how he comes back on the stage, how he wants to apply that stock. He even gets the down air dunk on the layout, on the tether recovery, which is very hard to do. You have to essentially read exactly when and where Leo wants to reel in with the tether because he can mix uh -oh. that up. Whoa! Oh, I thought, I thought he was the down down. Down. Okay, I thought he was the down or a side beat coming. He definitely watched his life flash before his eyes, that's for sure. Okay, catch the catch it there oh, that time. That was very, very smart. Oh, he thought oh. he was going to jump from that situation. And you, you just can't avoid um, those tech chases with jump, but Zachary just going for that uh, tech roll away there. That's right, rewriting the script right here. Every time he picks up the sticks. Oh, Gyro once more. Arsene's left the building, but that's okay, oh. though. Percent still very, very high. Yes, Rob is a big guy, but 174%. All right, you know, Joker, so he's going to have his way with you. And that was so clean from Leo because he knew that Rob was too high of a percent, so the drag down was going to put in a tech chase situation. So he just reacted and anticipated, got the up smash. Wow, that was an amazing play and knowledge coming out from Leo. Oh, and he's just drifting right here. And I know, like, again, it, oh my, wait a minute. Scratch that. Scratch, it don't even matter what I was talking about, Korean. Yes, this is the Zach Dude. Ray show. Just go as deep as possible, hits him with the gyro. Can we talk about this? Just, just the precision you have to have to land something like that on MK Leo. Yeah, sure, this speaks volumes about your play style. I love the counter pick. Like, of course, a lot of zoner characters oh. just do well on Kalos, <laughs> but he's, he's still hitting. Oh yes, he is. He, he has not stopped. Oh. This oh, guy's doing bro. like chic forward air streak. Bro, you're a robot. You ain't chic. You're a robot. You are definitely not chic at all. Oh, what? what are you Korean? serious? Korean? Or you serious, man? I've oh. never seen a setup like that. Zachary really just pushing this character. He makes Rob look broken, dude. He makes every character he picks up look broken. I just want to know how he... What was I even doing at 15? It wasn't... At 15 or 16, I wasn't going ham like this. Zachary, I mean, with the biggest brain reads right there, I mean, he literally turned one hit into a multitude of other hits, and you can even tell it put MK Leo in the blender. Wasn't exactly sure how to even DI, or even if he should DI out of some of these exchanges. Yeah, and you usually see that setup into up smash, but maybe some kind of DI mix-up, or maybe just for the style. I don't know. Zachary just really showing us all the different kinds of Rob tech that apparently I know nothing about. I guess so, man. I, I got I'll give it to the Japanese players. They are very stylish on and off the sticks, man. So with this in mind, a little faster delay right here at the top eight. Not quite on the winner side like he would like to be, but man, he is making quite the run here, man. If he can run over MK Leo. I mean, dude, that might be just the momentum he needs right here to find himself a grand finals, but it looks like he can't even find the ground here. Yeah, I mean, you never count Leo out. I mean, if there's anyone ah. you want to beat in this game, it's going to be MK Leo. And we've seen down. Zachary almost do it at SmashCon, but he wasn't able to close it out. So let's see if he can close it out because it's never over till it's over, man. That's right. It ain't over till you hear game. Okay, laser right there. A little bit of alleviation. I like it. Oh, back parry. Oh, no. Okay, tried to go for the up tilt. I like that. Really good combo star, especially up there on that top platform. Oh, oh, our, oh. Maybe up air would have done the trick there, but the back air nonetheless. Still going to be a great amount of damage. That down tilt. Where is Leo? Oh, he almost sniped him off the top. The reflect on the top of that. Man, that platform kind of messed up Leo like a couple times, huh? Yeah, right de ahead. definitely not working in his, oh my god, in his favor. God dang. Every time I see somebody get hit by Rob Upper, I'm just like, yo, is he going to live? I mean, you could be a 15%. I'm like, yo, is this it? Is, <laughs> is this my fate? If you DI that, uh, you know, move wrong, the, the cross up is just so strong. You, it's I've, seen, I've seen people die at ridiculously early percents, and then I've seen people live, like, very, very late. So very DI dependent move there. Whoa. Okay, wait, did I just see up tilt into down air because the move kind of pushes you away? It looks like he did that to kind of bait an option out right here. Oh. Yes, and the other spin to win the other spin cycle that Rob has in his arse. So it's not quite the side beat, but down smash will certainly get the job done. And Rob is going actually right now, too, so he can actually use his laser to keep him at bay. Are we going to see it? Are we going to see it? Pack forward. We've seen Zachary so much time set up the top because Rob is so much stronger, but 230%. Wow. He's still. Okay, I was going to oh. say. All right, we hit 240, though. That's right. Yeah, that back row is called the right this way, sir. <laughs> Very sophisticated back throw. Leo not taking too much damage here. Really good for him. Um, just kind of kept Zach around the ledge. Didn't know what to do there. And here comes the combos for MK Leo. Ooh, doesn't connect the Nair into the fair, though. No, oh, there's the back throw. Couldn't quite get him on that top. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He said on stage, off stage. The game belongs to me here, Mr. MK Leo. Drop okay. zone down there. Oh, this might be it. Oh, this dear. might be the time for Zachary to get his first set on MK Leo. And what better place would you be able to do it than
than Frostbite 2020. Oh, oh, the, if he jumped the forward area. Yes, I'm starting to hear the one more stock chance come out. The crowd wants to see it. I'm sure the chat wants to see it. But we'll see how bad Zachary wants to see it, though. Oh, no residual damage. He's taking out at the left. Oh, oh my goodness, yes. Don't let him Z drop all over you. And look, the Zachary always gets the top off stage. That's such a big deal, because when you're on the ledge, when you have top, it's so much more dangerous. Try to get the snipe, try to get the downer, but nothing's connecting here. Leo is surviving. Oh, oh, oh my god, okay. Almost was able to DI that one. Kind of an under investigation right there. 64% and a climbing. Arsene is about to leave town, but gets the up throw. Oh, this is get the fair while well, Arsene's on the way out here. But we'll see if Zachary can close out the stock before the next Arsene comes out. It's a very big deal. Oh, he is struggling right here to get back onto dry land. Okay, he's gonna go back to the ledge. Oh, and actually, no gyro right there. Just kind of elected to jump Ooh, right into his face. Man. Very, very dangerous option, if I may say so myself. Zachary plays a game at this point. Jeez, I Leo did. just came back and was like, oh, one more stock. I, guys, chill out. There's gotta be one more game. That's right. Don't count me out just yet. I'm the best in the world for a reason. Okay, this is where oh, Leo. Oh, oh, oh no. The, oh, he almost got the up tilt from the drag on the up oh, smash. Does oh, not connect. And Leo's able to get the forward smash to force a game five situation. Can we talk about how many scoops Zachary has got throughout the course this weekend just for people touching him just a little bit too close with that up smash that Rob possesses. MKLS I will not fall victim to that. That move scoops from a pretty good distance away, but MKLS just beating him to the punch there that time. Wow. Jeez. These sets are absolutely crazy. And the fact that Zachary Leo, uh, I mean, uh, that could be a grand finals at any S tier, and it's happening here in Losers top eight right now and I, one of these guys is going to have to go ahead and hold the L at seventh place man and that's just something that you would not expect. Especially not from two players of this caliber right here. These are guys, these are grand finals. I mean there's a lot of top professional players but there's only a couple where you can really expect to see them in grand finals on a consistent basis and these two happen to fall into that category but these will also happen to fall a little bit too early on their winner's side journey so now they find themselves meeting her in a game of five situation just as we expected. Of course we're going to see no three on the handshake. Not, not with these two. Absolutely not. Scooping them up right ah. now. On, uh, now we're on PS2 here. Zachary versus Leo, man, the last game. And Zachary just sticking it out with the robot this entire set. And of course, Leo staying true with the Joker, no That's matter right. nerfs or not. Yes, I gotta, gotta stay looking cool right here. It doesn't get any cooler than Joker, all right? Yeah, I got I mean, a trench coat like that upstairs, I'm almost worried. There's just something special about MK Leo's Joker. Oh, there's that item. Tom, oh. talking about? He said, I'm out. I'm not doing old, but then the Nair right there for the great coverage. That could also put him in a really sticky situation. Back was to the ledge. Darren to up smash. We've seen it time and time again, and it hurts all the same indeed. 68.1% showing no signs of cooling off anytime soon, might I add. Yeah, this is uh, at least a half a meter left on the, the Arsene. Able to tack on a lot of damage here. Jo um, Leo can try to get in, get a grab, or he can go ahead and throw out some side piece. You know, he, he has a lot of options, even the gun, but doesn't get too much damage, honestly. No, absolutely not. Kind of just uh, let him go. Possibly with a slap on the wrist right there. He still has a pretty sizable lead. He's going to take more than possibly a back here or some sort of aerial conversion to KO here at this point. Oh, oh, don't do so get up now. You yeah, know better than that. Don't go into the light lane. <laughs> don't do no, it. The, that, that top doesn't look too deadly, but trust me, what comes after the top hit isn't fun. It's a siren, man. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, he did, oh, tilted the wrong way. Maybe some nerves coming in here for Zachary. He's possibly. so close to closing it out. I mean, a game five situation against the world's number one. That's right. I'm starting to see it on Zachary's face. Use the Japanese player's great console collected. Don't, are you hanging out? You can't hang out in this neighborhood, sir. All right? You need to know better than that. Yeah, you need to pick an ledge option, and you need to pick it now. That's right, because my wheels, this fire that leaves my wheels, man, is going to pick it for you here in a second. Okay. Oh, yes. The Nair again. Ooh, Very big move, but then he yanks him back down. Yeah, man. And that, that's the great thing about uh, Joker combo tree. Usually, there's not too many routes where you combo into the up like that, but you can just catch people slipping or just catch people going up high like that. While the up smash almost able to take out Rob off the top, but no Arsene with that. So it's going to be a little, or a lot weaker. But this time, it is enough. Wow, actually gets the job done. And this is a good position for MKLeo to be in my at Very low percent. Arsene is almost in town here to kick it. So with this in mind, Zachary certainly has his work cut out for me. I can start to hear the crowd come alive a little bit more, but I don't know who they're voting for, man. It seems like the audience is split three. 
Yeah, it's, it's so tough. Both these players have such large fan bases. And, I mean, that la that second stock, uh -huh. Lev kind of buffed him without our sense. So, uh, yeah. He's definitely going to have to switch things up here, man. Zachary needs to get things under control, but honestly, has only taken 8% from his arsenal. Oh, well, well, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, how, how quick is your map? Uh, 48 40. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, and it's, and, oh, he gets a little bit more on the way out. Leo is so good at getting the max value out of every single R sense. That's what you have got to do. Oh, this is oh, so broken. Oh, Th that's, that's so a, broken. That's busted. Oh, like, my goodness. What? Oh, wait a minute. Don't even think. Did you just try to go for a high recovery? Good, sir. Not wow. in my house. Oh, man. Zachary is so good. I, I've never seen a rod that's that consistent with the down tilt chains like that. And, like, right after, he knows exactly when and where to go for, like, the drop zone fair or not. And he even finishes it off. But he's on his back foot here. Leo on a fresh stop. Yes, and he is just, I mean, this match is completely running away. Yes, the tried and true up air to up smash. Zach Ray looking a little lost right here for words, but it was a valiant effort. None the less when you let your game speak for itself. Fist bump, we get a fist bump.